known for things to get positively grand right now because, ladies and gentlemen, here he is, the king of the cowboys, Roy Rogers. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here she is, the most talented and cooperative of guest stars, Miss Loretta Lynn. And, and now, ladies and gentlemen, the multitudinously talented Mr. Roy Clark. And now they're kind enough to visit, even though they wouldn't believe it. Bigfoot country. He's kicking it old school. In his book, The Philosophy of Modern Song, Bob Dylan critiques 66 popular recordings to explain how music reveals the character of a culture. And wouldn't you know it, page one of chapter one presents Detroit City, Bobby Bear's 1963 crossover country classic about a disillusioned southern white man who comes north to the Motor City. The fellow makes cars and he makes money, but he feels homesick. As many might remember, Bear pronounces the place as Detroit City. Bobby's big hit came early in a musical decade best remembered in Detroit for Motown's assembly line brilliance, for the raucous rock and roll concerts at the Grand Ballroom, and for young Canadian artists like Joni Mitchell and Neil Young clubbing their way to fame around the Motor City. In addition, Dylan's essay cites Detroit as the home of Motown and Fortune Records, Birthplace of Hank Ballard, Mitch Ryder, Jackie Wilson, Jack White, Iggy Pop, and the MC5. According to Dylan, when Detroit City was written, quote, Detroit was a place to run to. New jobs, new hopes, new opportunities. Cars came off the assembly lines and straight into our hearts. But some of those hearts were broken in the men who left the gentle fields, streams, and woods of the mild rural south for the concrete streets, sidewalks, and alleys of the cold urban north. Dylan opens his essay with, In this song, you're the prodigal son. And he ends it with, like thousands of others, he left the farm, came to the big city to get ahead, and got lost. Dylan pretty much nailed it.